part 11 of the Grumman 2 teardrop series. Uh, in this part we're going to start making the frame. Uh, we'll go ahead and show the profile layer and then we'll go ahead and get rid of all the rest of these layers because we don't need them for right now. Okay, what we'll do is go in here and copy or select all and then copy these parts, click out of that group, paste and then we'll paste the other group down here. Go ahead and square it up, zoom in a little bit on it, and then what we'll do is go ahead and delete the parts that we don't need uh, for the frame. Just select them, delete, and then we'll go ahead and go in here and delete these parts closer. Okay, so that's our frame. We'll go ahead and make this a group. Make group, and then we'll go ahead and I'm going to color that group. I like to use the bare metal or the rough metal, and so that's covered. Let's go ahead and make a layer for this while we're at it. We'll call it frame, and then we've got that highlighted, so we'll go ahead and uh, name this frame. Okay, so we got that done. We'll spin around the back side of it again. And I'm using my scroll uh, button on my mouse to do the maneuvering. So if you don't have one of those, you'll have to use the keys over here. Anyway, push-pull again. You need to use the control button. Click it so it's a plus, And then we'll stretch it out to 58 and a half inches. Enter. And another thing I actually figured out while I was doing this is if you just double-click on this, It'll extend out to the, the point there. Again, control, and then it extends it out. So there you go. Uh, we actually have uh, our frame thickness and or all out. So now we'll do the side members, uh, guide for them, two inches, because we're using two-inch square stock. Uh, and then we'll come up here and start laying out for the tongue. Now what I do is use the compass uh, guide marker. Now you want to have it blue when you click on the corner. Blue is the same plane that the top is. You stretch it out to the front here and then drag it over in the direction you want it to go. 25 degrees is what we're going for here. Uh, straight, straight out, click, and then over in the direction you want, 25 degrees. So there you go. There's the outline of our tongue. Uh, again, click here, and I like to drag it over here, the guide over onto the surface, or I make sure I'm on the same plane. Two inches for the um, cross members again. So there, I've laid out the cross members for the, or excuse me, the parts for the tongue. So I'll go ahead and draw the top now, and then I'll go ahead and draw this. And make sure you use the intersection points. I'll go ahead and delete this part while I'm here. And then I'll go ahead and draw my points back here. Again, you want to make sure you're on the right part, the intersections. Um, click there. Let me close, minimize that. Click there. And I zoom out and then zoom in on the parts I want just because it makes it easier. Okay, so now we draw those. Uh, now I'm going to... Now this is solid, so what you need to do is actually click on the push-pull, and we're coming down, and we'll, I like to hold it here on the bottom, okay? And then I'll click on the bottom here. Again, you've got to use the control for this, and then on the bottom over here. And I can delete this surface over here. Now it's gone. So there's our frame for the most part. Um, the tongue we'll worry about later. Uh, for now, I'll just go ahead and draw a line out here and click it and cut off the tongue part here. Uh, I won't actually be doing the coupler just simply because it takes quite a bit of time if you want to make it look right. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and delete that. But anyway, that's that's the frame. Uh, go ahead and delete the guides. And then uh, click out here. And that's it for now. We'll position the frame in the next one.